So here's how my print bed was on my Prusa i3 Mark II. Um, well due for replacement, it's bubbling up and in fact there's actually just there a hole um, which I've had to avoid every time I print. I'm doing this work in place without removing the print bed and I'm not sure what temperature to set it to so I'll start with 60 degrees C and let's have a go. Get the blade underneath the corner of the PEI and tease it up and then once you can get your finger to it you can start to pull and it's not really playing ball it no we go with pliers but no this is not easy so let's try 100 degrees and see if that makes the glue a bit more pliant so 100 degrees and let's have another go nope so 110 see if the glue starts to break down hello and yeah it's doable but it's not sensible this is not easy um, you pull away at the sheet eventually it tears off breaks and you're left teasing a fresh bit up with a blade and so on and it just doesn't feel like the right way to do it so anyway I struggled through eventually got all the PEI off but fortunately for this video I actually messed up in the process later on didn't wash the limonene off properly didn't use water and it all bubbled up as soon as I raised the print bed up to ABS light temperatures so I had to do it again um, the argument for using heat that I've read is that the glue comes off the bed which doesn't really seem to be the case there's still plenty of glue left on the bed so let's try doing it the Prusa way let's try using coal rather than heat um, bag full of ice a little bit of water and a bit of salt and then lay that out nicely so that the ice is nicely in contact with the bed what we're doing is cooling it all down so that hopefully the sheet will come off and leave the glue behind and the sheet will come off easily leave it for 10 minutes remove the ice and well, clean off the water just keep things tidy and let's have another go so underneath the corner and here we go and it's so much easier I haven't sped this up single take it really is now, if you're confident you could pull it off in one stroke I reckon one pull and there you are that's the PEI off nice clean sheet and we're left with a print bed covered in glue so here's some limonene which smells great place paper towels on the bed nice and neatly and pour the limonene on now be careful this is powerful stuff you don't want it pouring over the edge of the bed um, I've read that it attacks the glue that sticks the temperature sensor to the bed for example on the underside so you don't want it flowing underneath there and I've also read that it attacks ABS so be careful but you need to reach the edges in fact I had a more work than I would have liked later on because I didn't get it completely to the edges if you look at that back edge the left hand side it's not entirely saturated and that made work so you want to spend a little time perhaps with a pipette or a, or a syringe or something just make it really tidy um, cling film just to keep it from evaporating too quickly and keep the smell down a bit although as I say it's a nice smell sort that out clean off anything that's touching ABS and just 
leave it for 40 minutes. I left it for. Off comes the cling film. And then fold up the paper towel. If you do it quite neatly because you're going to use this later, or I did anyway. It's a handy limonene soaked paper towel. Plastic scraper. And just work your way at it. It comes off quite nicely. It's a fairly satisfying thing to do. Perhaps slightly more limonene would have made this even easier. So off we go. Whilst this is happening, I'll explain what happened when I did the previous attempt. I cleaned the limonene off with um, alcohol, but I didn't clean it off with water, and I suspect it doesn't dissolve into alcohol very well. Um, so make sure you rinse the bed once you've cleaned it off, which is later on in this process, but rinse it off properly with water or you'll end up having to redo the whole thing again. So there's the glue, quite manageable. Notice it's come off quite nicely. And the bits at the back that didn't really soak enough, I put some more limonene on. I was a bit impatient, maybe I should have left it after doing that for a while, but just keep scrubbing away. I found the best tool for taking the really stubborn stuff off is the gloved hand gloved thumb. Strangely that works very well. So keep going until you're happy. Now important water, a fair bit of it. Don't be too messy because this is all going to pour down under the bed etc. But you need to be pretty thorough at this. This is a pan scrubber, a plastic pan scrubber, not a metal one. Don't use one with metal in it but it does mean the scrubbing side is useful um, and just keep this up replace the water yeah you know, like this regularly and I suggest you you overdo this you spend some time because any limonene that's left will evaporate beautifully when you wind the heat bed up and will cause bubbles between the heated bed and the PEI sheet which don't go away I found when I dried it off, I could see little bits of the glue left, so I just attacked those. Just keep iterating every time you find something that isn't perfectly like the rest of the bed. Attack it with a pan scrubber, plastic pan scrubber. And then just because I was paranoid, fresh water and clean it off again. So, isopropanol, alcohol, generous squirt of that, wipe it all clean, once more for luck, you don't get a chance to do this once the bed's, once the plastic's stuck back on, so better safe than sorry, and now we have a really pristine print bed which doesn't smell very much of limonene if it does rinse it some more now just test fitting the PEI sheet to make sure I understand where it's going because this is not so easy once it's all sticky peel off the sheet it's really quite easy the sheet's thick enough that it doesn't fold on itself or try to stick to itself so this job is not as tricky as I feared. When you're lining this sheet up, make sure you have it far enough forward. If you're going to error, error in the forward direction because the printer purges its nozzle off the end, off the front of the print area. So if you put that sheet too far back, then you're going to have problems. A mil or so too far forward would be fine. So make sure you've got a good couple of mil in front of the print area in spite of the fact Prusa tell you to line it up at the back. That would be my tip. Now, you're making sure there's no bubbles here. So you're working from the left and you're being really quite thorough, making sure you don't trap any bubbles. And just work your way across. Really straightforward, really easy. 
I should say, when you first put the sheet down, make sure it reaches that right-hand edge before you commit. So once you've stuck the left-hand edge on, just make sure the right is going to be okay, that you've got everything nice and square and lined up. So now, just pushing it all down, and then clean up the surface, as you would anyway before doing a print. And that's it. One absolutely pristine printed bed. Notice all those dents and perturbations and things have gone. They're all in the PEI, the bed underneath. It's absolutely fine.